Hello all, welcome to the weekly market outlook for the day 1st December 2023. This is Omkar Patil, the technical research associate from GPL Capital. So in this video, we'll have a look at the benchmark indices, the Nifty and the Bank Nifty, what the indices have done for the whole week and what are the uh, pathways which the indices can uh, follow going ahead in the next weeks and the upcoming trading sessions. So firstly, beginning with the benchmark index on the Nifty 50. So also in the latest trading session, we got to see a good uh, bullish up move, eventually hitting the fresh all-time high in the Nifty at a mark of 20,290.25, which earlier the all-time high was around the mark of 20,222. So that has also been uh, taken out very uh, efficiently, it seems, by the indices, by the index. Also, if we'll have a look at the uh, setup, which post uh, creating the record highs, and then we got to see a bottom around the level of 18,835. The up move which we see, we have seen from the lower level seems to be quite fast as compared to the time taken by the index to come lower to the mark of 18,835. So this is a faster retracement uh, in terms of technical language, if we'll see. So this is a good sign, a positive sign and an improving price action, we can say. Also, uh, there are multiple uh, technical parameters which are currently favoring the outlook. As uh, in the previous outlook as well, uh, the view which we had, a bullish view, that was still intact uh, as we got to witness a clear higher highs, higher lows and higher closes. So that was one of the things uh, which was very positive and this kind of formation was around, uh, founded around a very crucial key moving averages such as the uh, 20 weeks moving average. Also the previous week, uh, the inside week which we got to see that was nothing but a sign of a reduction in the volatility and post this which we have got to see a breakout that indicates us that the volatility which has which had swing has now uh, started to rise with the uptrend in the prices. So coming quickly to the levels. So index has ended at a mark of 20,269.90 at this week while creating a fresh all-time high. Also, it, it, it is an indication that the index is in a good momentum. With this, the up move can be stretched till the mark of 20,950 followed by 21,500, which is nothing but the extrapolated levels from the lower levels of 16,800 to the prior uh, high, which was around the mark of 20,222. This extension forecasted from the lower levels of 18,835. So over here, the view remains uh, still bullish and 20,950 followed by 21,500 seems to be uh, achievable mark by the index for the uh, period of uh, next uh, two to three months. Also on the lower side, the mark of 19,800, which earlier was also one of our crucial support, which we had mentioned, that also remains intact. And until and unless this mark of 19,800 is protected on the downside, we can expect the further bullish run to be continued. Also, the immediate support is situated at a bigger round number, which is 20,000 mark. Coming to the charts of Bank Nifty, so on the charts of Bank Nifty, we can clearly see that uh, underperformance still is present into the prices of Bank Nifty uh, as uh, the Nifty against the Nifty. As the Nifty is currently quoting at the record highs, Nifty is quoting at the record highs while the Bank Nifty is has not had even attempted to move towards its all-time high. So even over here, the charts the price action seems to be quite uh, seems to be quite uh, positive we can see that uh, over here uh, earlier in this set of price action there was a pattern formed uh, which is nothing but the double top and now this double top pattern seems to be failing so this is a good sign by the index which it has shown 
also the momentum on the weekly chart that is the rsi plotted on the weekly chart is also about the mark of 50 this is also a good sign uh, for the index so going ahead uh, with this positive setup uh, roaming into the prices of uh, bank nifty we can expect the index to further move higher till, the, till its record high which is around the mark of 46369.50 and once that mark is uh, achieved we can expect the index further to move higher till the mark of 48200 mark which is again a extra positive levels from the lower levels of 39,000 to its uh, all time high, which is forecasted, which is forecasted from the mark of 42,000. So in a nutshell, both the Nifty and the Bank Nifty, uh, the structure seems to be positive and a further uplag can be continued from the current levels. And the view which we had since uh, prior market outlook is still intact. Coming to few stock specific moments uh, where the momentum can still persist for the next few trading weeks. So the first stock is of course LNT. If we'll have a look at the longer term charts of LNT, the stock is already in a good momentum as it quotes around the record highs level. And if we'll switch it on to the weekly charts, uh, there is the consolidation which the stock has went through overall from the higher levels of 3,100 mark till the mark of 2,800. This consolidation level has al also, the bounce have been from the very crucial support of 2,850 mark, which was also a gap zone you can see over here. So that is a wonderful support where the prices have uh, actually taken from. And also in the latest price action, if we'll have a look, uh, there is a clear breakout of a cup and handle pattern. This breakout is witnessed by a good rising volume as well as a gap can be seen over here. This confirms the breakout. And with this, we can expect the prices to further move higher to the mark of 3,380. While on the downside, the mark of 3,110 will be a stop loss strictly on the closing basis. Coming to the next stock. So the next stock which we have is Axis Bank. So uh, despite the overall pressure which we got to see into Bank Nifty Index, there was some under underperformance against uh, the Nifty 50. But nevertheless, there was one stock who had maintained its outperformance and that name was nothing but the Axis Bank. So Axis Bank had, had performed pretty well. If also we'll have a look at the uh, up move which it started from the 2022 June, the stock has never got into lower lows and lower high structure. Even over here, the stock went through some consolidation phase, but the correction done in this stock was quite healthy as again, there was absence of lower lows and lower highs. So this is a good kind of price action structure which the excess bank has formed. And also this can be a candidate which can be looked as a long-term bet and with this, the momentums have also started to pick up. The volumes have again uh, gained some attraction towards what it was earlier. Now the volumes have also started to pick up. And with this, we can expect the prices to move higher in the mark of 1300. While on the lower side, the mark of 1040 will be a stop loss on the closing basis. So that's it from my side. I hope you like this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to GPH YouTube channel. Thank you.